Good day, ma'am. Good day, everyone. My today's presentation is about literary techniques. But first, let us all know what is literary techniques itself. Literary techniques. A variety of techniques are used to make a piece of fiction more interesting to the reader. And these techniques are collectively referred to as literary devices. Literary techniques and literary components are two categories for these devices. The basic aspects of a story such as plot, setting, and subject are known as literary elements. They are intimately connected to the plot of a narrative. Literary techniques, on the other hand, are the ways in which language is used to enhance the work's beauty. Literary techniques are also used to help the reader understand the author's message specifically. To make it short, literary techniques are tools to make a narrative more understandable for readers and also to convey the author's intended meaning for the readers. The first literary techniques is the setting. A setting is the time and place in which a narrative, whether non-fiction or fiction, takes place. It's a literary device. The environment establishes the story's principal backdrop and tone. The setting is known as the story word. Why setting is important and why it is a literary technique? Well, with settings, we can understand the narrative more. And without the settings, a scene or an event in a story can't happen if there's no settings at all. The first type or the first element of settings is more on geographic location. Geographic location, a story might be set in real life, mappable place like a particular city, state, or country. Or it might be set in an imaginary world. Example from this are the city of Texas, city of New York, and also our, our very own Boracay, Philippines. I chose the Texas because of its very famous food, which is the beef and I chose the New York because of its famous Statue of Liberty and also last is Boracay because of its white sands and many tourist spots we can see. Second is physical location. A character's immediate surrounding like a room or a temple can be important formation to highlight a narrative. My very first Example for this kind of location is the Avengers Tower from an Avengers film created by Marvel. And second is the Twin Pines Mall location from the Back to the Future because in Twin, in Twin Pines Mall location, the time travel explanation is started. Third is the physical environment. A story can be set in natural world where characters are affected by weather conditions, climates, and other forces of nature. Uh, the very easy example for this is the narrative or the films that sets in, for example, jungle or desert. Example for deserts are the narrative about cowboys and others. And also, a example here the film called or titled Cast Away. Next element of settings is the time period. When does this story take place? In literature, time periods can be a historical period but it can also be a season, a time of the day, or time of the year. My, my example for this element of settings is the Again, the Back to the Future because of its time. And second is the Home Alone film, which is about the season. 
of Christmas. Next is social and cultural environment as an element of settings. The location and time period will dictate the social and cultural environment in a story. If a story is set in a high school, there will be a societal norms and trends specific to teenagers. And if a story is set in the late 1960s, it might be set against the culture backdrop of Vietnam War. My example here are, are the late 1980s. In late 1980s, a mixtape is invented and the golden age of films was created also and the golden age of the band Queens is also a hit during that time. Next literary techniques are the concept of suspense, flashbacks, and foreshadowing in a narrative. First is suspense. Suspense is an easy feeling that the readers get when they don't know what is going to happen next. A, writer's, a writer creates suspense through a controlled release of information to readers that raises key questions and make readers eager but terrified to find out what happens. Suspense is a very useful tool for the, reader, for the readers to be excited and will make the reader turn pages. If it is a narrative. Next is flashback. In fiction, a flashback is a scene that takes place before a story begins. Flashback interrupts the chronological order of the main narrative to take a reader back in the time to the past events in the character's life. It means that flashback is the past story from the present event. It means it will make the readers read more about and take their and take their what they call this take their intentions to know more about the event or also its character of a narrative third is foreshadowing an indication of something that will happen in the future often used as a literary devices to hint at or allude to future plot development developments the Gothic novel used foreshadowing to build suspense also. The third element or the third literary technique is the plot development. Plot development means ensuring that your novel contains what makes story enjoyable to read, action and event, change and wonder and surprises. The known three elements of plot are Introduction to rising action, climax, falling action to resolution. Introduction to rising action. Introduction is the starting point of a piece of a narrative. To know the characters and know to know the characters that support and help the story to be understandable. Rising action is the section of a story that leads toward its climax because of the increased tension as a book's central conflict. Or conflicts became clear. The rising action is often what keeps the turning pages. Next is climax, or also known as the best part or the exciting part of a narrative. Climax is the highest or most intense point in the development or resolution of something. The turning point of a narrative works is its is its point of highest tension and drama or it is the time when the action starts during which the solution is given the climax of the story is a literary element last from the plot development is falling action to resolution the falling action of a story is the point in the plot following the story's climax where the conflict reaches the high of its action from here the plot progresses into the falling action phase, which is, where the, which is where the resolution of the conflict occurs. Last is the resolution. The resolution of the story is the conclusion of a story's plot, also known, also known as denoma. denoma. The resolution is a literary term for the final plot point that occurs after a story's climax and falling action. 
a resolution can be seen can be seen or series of scenes that tie a narrative arc together near the end of the story. Last is characters, which is also a very important part of literary techniques. Characters. Character serves as the driving force in your story. Your characters create and push your plot forward. The readers can experience the world that you've, been, you've created through your characters, both from the way that your characters interact with their environment and the way that your character view their environment. Main types of characters are protagonists and antagonists. The protagonist. The protagonist is the leading character or one of the major characters in a drama, movie, novel, or other fictional text. The protagonist makes key decisions that affects the plot, primarily influencing the story and propelling it forward and is often the character who plays the most significant obstacle. To make it simply, the protagonist is the good guy. And now is the antagonist. Antagonist. In the storytelling, the antagonist is the opposer of or combat combatant worker working against the protagonist or leading character and creating the main conflict. The antagonist can be one character or a group of characters in traditional narrative. The antagonist is synonymous with bad guy, which is the opposite of good guy. Why is it important to know the literary techniques? Literary devices highlights important concepts in a text, strengthening the narrative, and help readers con connect to the character and theme. This device serves a wide range of purpose in literature. Overall, with the tools of literary techniques, we can also make a creative thought and ideas, either fictional or not, to take the to take and give our perception for every individual of the world to widen our thinking, especially in our daily lives.